Hi everyone. Uh, today I will uh, introduce the, uh, how, about how to use the DJI simulator. And uh, uh, firstly, uh, we will um, we will need to prepare some materials. Yeah, and the materials uh, will will be included uh, the hard, hard, hardware and the software. Yeah, and uh, the hardware includes the uh, as you know. Uh, basically, we need to prepare a. Uh, uh, an aircraft, yeah, DJ Agress. Uh, you could use the T30 or T10, yeah, for example. And then uh, the second thing is the uh, remote controller, yeah. Uh, the remote controller with the uh, HDMI port, yeah. And um, uh, uh, you could use the uh, T30 or T10 or T20 uh, remote controller, yeah, as you like. And then we need to prepare a Type C cable yeah type c cable yeah and then uh, uh you need to prepare the uh projector yeah with the uh, hdmi uh cable yeah this is uh this these are the uh, hardware yeah and also yeah uh, another important thing is the uh, a laptop yeah a, lap a laptop uh, which we will uh install the uh dji assistant uh two for MG, yeah, this is the uh, uh, software which you could download it from the DJI official website. Yeah, so uh, in conclusion, the hardware is one aircraft and one cable, Type C cable, and one uh, remote controller, and also the um, projector with D uh, HDMI uh, port. Yeah, and uh, the software is. DJI Assistant 2 for MG, yeah. After the preparation of the materials and the next step, we will uh, talk about the connection uh, of uh, between the uh, equipment, okay? And um, <coughs> uh, the first uh, connection is, uh, what we need to do is uh, the uh, connection between the uh, aircraft and the uh, uh, laptop. Yeah, actually, it's the connection between the uh, aircraft and the uh, software, you know, DJI Assistant 2 for MG. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> uh, for this is the first step. Yeah, the, the first connection. And the second connection is the uh, connection between the remote controller and the projector. Yeah, uh, so now we, we will go to the first connection. Yeah, firstly, yeah. Uh, for this part, uh, firstly, we need to um, uh, dismount the uh, upper board and the lower board of the aircraft so that we could find the uh, uh, connection port uh, in, uh, on the uh, aircraft. Yeah. And then another important thing you need to do before the uh, connection is you need to dismount the propellers, all the propellers, yeah. because um, sometimes maybe uh, uh, the connection between the uh, aircraft and the software may be uh, fair, fair, yeah. So um, if you dismount the uh, uh, propellers, then it, it could be safer for you, yeah. So this is two tips for you here. Uh, you need to pay attention to, yeah. And then after this, we uh, what we need to do is to turn on the turn on the remote controller. Turn on the remote controller, yeah. Okay. And then after the uh, remote controller is uh, turned on, then you need to turn on the aircraft. Okay. Short press and uh, long press for uh, two seconds, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. And then uh, next step, we need to uh, use the uh, Type C cable, yeah, to connect the uh, aircraft. The port on uh, in the aircraft is on the right side, yeah, right side of of the uh, head of the uh, aircraft. When you face the head of the aircraft, yeah, it's on the right, yeah, the port, yeah, using the uh, Type C cable. And another end, you uh, connect connect it to the uh, your laptop. Yeah, connect to the um, your laptop, 
and then you uh, open the software DJI Assistant 2 for MG. Okay, uh, after the connection between the aircraft and uh, the laptop, and also after you downloaded the uh, DJI Assist Assistant 2 for MG from the uh, official uh, website, DJI official website, then uh, you open it. Okay, yeah. Then it will successfully show T30 or any uh, DJI address you used. Yeah. Then it means uh, it connected successfully. Okay. And then you click it. Yeah. Okay. After you enter this interface, you click the uh, simulator. Uh, sorry, the, uh, here is the Chinese, but you can you can trans, uh, trans, transfer into English. Yeah, this is the simulator. Simulator, and uh, click here, enter. And then you click the uh, start to sim sim simulate. Okay. Uh, how can you tell uh, yourself uh, whether it connects uh, correctly and uh, is, in, uh, is in the uh, process of simulating? You could see here, time. Now the time is running, you know? Yeah, so it means uh, you connect uh, the software and the uh, aircraft successfully. Now, and you could, you could operate and practice yeah, in this simulator. Okay, uh, just now we uh, talk about the uh, preparation of the materials and uh, also the connection between the aircraft and uh, uh, DJI Assistant 2 for MG. Yeah, and next we need to connect, connect the uh, remote controller uh, uh, and the uh, projector, right? So that we could see the, thing, the things uh, we are talking about uh, more clearly, yeah. Okay. Uh, we use the uh, HDMI uh, port, uh, port uh, of the projector and uh, connect the uh, uh, remote controller. Yeah. And then, as you can see, uh, we, can, we could see the uh, screen uh, is on the uh, uh, projector already. Yeah. From this, uh, from this um, screen, we could uh, teach you uh, how to operate the uh, DJ address and also other tips for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, just now we finished the pre preparation of the materials, and then we uh, finished the connection between the aircraft and the uh, laptop, and also the connection between the remote controller and the projector, right? And uh, now we go to the next step. What we need to do is doing some uh, setting up. Uh, in the uh, DJ app in the remote controller, okay? Let's go, go to that, yeah. And uh, here we, uh, as you could see, uh, after we finish uh, the uh, pre previous steps, uh, we could see the uh, screen of the uh, DJ app in the remote controller, okay? Okay, and uh, what we need to set up is, um, uh, please do as, as below. Uh, we could uh, click the setting up here uh, in the right up corner, okay? And we click it, and uh, the first we need to do is to uh, click the spring system and, uh, and uh, turn, turn off, turn off the uh, spring system, okay? Keeping you could uh, turn off. And also we could set uh, the, we could assume uh, there are 30 liters of liquid in the tank, okay? We could tap, uh, put in uh, 30 liters, yeah. The reason we need to uh, turn off the, uh, the uh, spring system is that um, because uh, we are doing the simulating uh, in room, yeah, so uh, we don't need to uh, really to spray, right? And also we set up uh, 30, li 30 liters, yeah, here, 30 liters. And uh, uh, then the machine will tell us there is uh, liquid in the tank, okay? And then the second is uh, we need to uh, turn off, we need to turn off the uh, horizontal uh, obstacle avoidance, okay? Uh, because uh, the machine is in indoor, yeah, so uh, uh, 
it will detect the, the obst obstacles in room. Yeah, so we need to turn, turn it off so we can make the uh, stimulating uh, smoothly, okay? And uh, the third thing is uh, we need to um, turn off the RDK, yeah, turn off the RDK and also uh, including the RDK positioning and the RDK uh, orient orientation, okay? This one, yeah, we turn it off, yeah. So, uh, because if we are in the in the room, uh, so uh, and we didn't use the RDK, and in room the RDK signal is um, not very strong, so we turn it off. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, all the uh, uh, setting up we need to we need to do before the stimulating. Okay. And uh, after that, we could do the um, uh, teaching for your users, like what I'm doing for you now. Uh, uh, through the sim stimulation, yeah, and um, we could do the AB point uh, and the fl uh, flat root operation or other modes, yeah. So you can teach you teach them uh, indoor, okay.